Welcome back to Melody Guitar Book 2. This book focuses on learning how to read and play melodies in standard music notation. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own copy of Melody Guitar 2 that you can read from and write in, plus you'll be supporting a music teacher. So I'll leave a link in the description. We're on pages 33 and 34, and the melodies on these two pages include our new low B on the fifth string. One, two, one, two, three. Number 73, The Star of County Down, one of my favorite Irish tunes. It's in common time, and there are two pickup eighth notes. It's marked quarter equals 112, so that's our tempo. Now, if that's a little too fast for you, that's okay. Use a metronome, slow it down to, to a more reasonable speed, and then use the metronome to gradually build up speed until you reach the tempo that you like. Looking at the end, we can see that there is a first and second ending. That first ending takes us back to the beginning of the third line. Then we play all that stuff again. And then the second time through, we skip over the first ending and play the second ending. At the beginning, we have a B to a D to an E. So that's second finger, open, and two. And you'll see as we go through this, the second finger is the only finger you use except for one note. So we have one, two, three, Four and one, two, three. One, two, three. So that was all open or second finger. Watch your picking, so make sure it's down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, rest. So mute the string on beat three at the end of that first line. And it doesn't matter if you're muting with your left hand or your right hand. Sometimes I like to use both hands just for insurance. Then we have a B and a D at the end of this line. Think of this as a pickup into the second line. So same melody so far. Now here it's different, it's just E, E, one, two, rest. And then finally we have to use some finger other than third, other than second finger. We play our third finger on this D at the beginning of the third line. And that's the only time you use a finger other than your second finger. So that's gonna be one, two, three, down, up, down, down, down. Now, if those two measures sounded familiar, that's exactly what you played in, the, in measures three and four in the first line. So it helps a lot if you look for repeated sections, repeated notes in your music. It helps you learn your music faster. And also, if you're memorizing music, it helps you remember your music better. Anyway, last two notes of the third line. This is just like the second line. Except for this first ending. So that's one, two, rest. And we go back to the beginning of the third line. So think of that last note of the first ending as more of a pickup into the repeated section, the beginning of the third line again. One, two, three. Then we do all that again. Second time through, we skip the first ending. So I'm going to go to the beginning of the last line. But this is our second time through, taking the second ending now. So 
second ending. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number 74, the Galway Piper, it's in 4-4 time and it's marked brightly, quarter equals 132. So there's your 132. If that's a little too fast, slow it down with the metronome and then gradually build up speed until you're comfortable with it. But always play it at a speed that you can play accurately and then increase your speed. So we start off just going back and forth between C's and E's. So what you could do is have both notes pressed down, C with your third finger, E with your second finger. So if you do that, that's pretty easy. And then we have this little flourish, um, I think three and four and one, and that's just a little tiny scale. You can always look for steps and skips in your music, and if it's all steps, just think of it in terms of a scale. That's just part of a C scale. From there we have B, D, B, D. So you can keep your second finger down on that B the whole time, or at least keep it close to the B. Whichever you like to do, as long as you're getting, it just helps you get back to that B a little more easily. And then we have another scale. So E, D, C, B, and then it goes back to C at the beginning of the third line. So again, look for little scale passages. Thinking in terms of scales really helps a lot with your music reading and your speed. Beginning of the second line starts like the first line. So C's and E's, you can have both notes prepared. Then a couple G's. And we got a little flourish here. Whoops. So I messed up that up. So what I would do if I were playing that, not in front of a video, is I would just slow it down. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And then gradually speed it up until I play it a little, more, a little bit more accurately. Uh, third line. It's basically part of a C scale. One, two, and three, four. And the next measure after that, it starts the same. So if you can do that part, one, two, and three, four, then you've got most of the second line covered. So, uh, the fourth measure of the second line, instead of going E, F, G, now it goes E, G, D. So a couple open notes there. Beginning of the last line, we got that same thing. As a matter of fact, the first two measures of the last line are the same as the first two measures of the previous line. Rest, making sure you're touching on all these rests on beat four. Then we go down to a low B. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Watching your picking direction all the time. Down, down, up, down, down down, down, mute on beat four. One, two, one, two, ready, play. Number 75, Sakura, is in 4-4 four, four time, and it's marked Andante. In the playthrough you just heard, I played it at quarter equals 90. 
which actually may have been a little fast in a performance I may aim more toward 80 or even 75. Anyway, we begin with two A's and a B. Now you play your B open, but you have to get back to the A, so it's a good idea to keep your finger close to the A so you can get right back to it. Measure three. Measure four. You can do a really cool thing here. The B, the A, and the F are all on separate strings. So first of all, you can just prepare by placing your fingers down on all the notes that need fingers down. But also, those notes are going string by string in one direction, so you can do what's called a sweep. So I'm just going up, up, up there. Normally, I would go down, up, down. In this case, up, up, up. That's called sweep picking. Also, it's called efficiency picking, just moving your pick in one direction as long as you can. And I like to play that with the notes ringing. In another song, maybe I would mute the strings that aren't, or that aren't being played anymore, but I like the, the way those notes sound together. Third line, E, C, E, F. So as you play your C, Keep your second finger close, or maybe even on the E, so you can get right back to it. One, two, and three. Watch your picking direction there. Down, down, up, down. These next two measures, measures three and four of the second line, are identical to measures three and four of the first line. So we can do that A, B, C, B, and then we can do that little sweep. Up, up, up. And then this is just like the beginning of the second line here. So look for notes or patterns that repeat in your music. It's going to help you a lot with learning your music. The next measure is just like the beginning, A, A, B. So keep your finger close to the A. To our D, E, F, A. And we can do one more sweep at the end. Now our second finger is already down on the A from the measure before, so might as well keep it there. You just have to put your third finger down and then do that little sweep. Your assignment is to practice the melodies on pages 33 and 34. As always, make sure you keep a steady tempo by playing along with the video or play to a metronome so you can choose your own tempo. And don't forget to order your own copy of Melody Guitar Book 2. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own book that you can read from and write in, so I'll leave a link in the description. This assignment has more music than usual, so if you need to, just split it up in two, two separate assignments. And then when you're ready, I'll see you on the bottom of page 34. We're going to get into duet playing. <laughs> 